Are you ready to do this? We're gonna do this right now. Oh! Here, let me do that again faster. This feels so scripted already. I know, it's terrible. I, like, I've got an editing program and I can like splice things and stuff. I just don't like to do any cuts. I like it to be one take. Ready? You flinch, not me. Welcome to Uncut Angling. I'm Aaron Weeb. I'm Clayton Schick. Say it again, I can't really hear. I'm Clayton Schick. Oh, Clayton Schick. This is my buddy Clayton Schick from CSO Outdoors. Check him on YouTube. He actually uploads regularly, unlike Uncut Angling. Just pump him out, right? Where's my script? Well, we were gonna talk about how Clayton and I have done many trips, but somehow we just never get a video done, and Clayton owes you guys a documentary of sorts on his channel to explain that. Yeah, one day you guys will see the light of all of the videos that we've accomplished that we haven't put out. Let's get a video done today. Let's not try to reinvent the wheel. Let's actually get a video. Let's keep it simple. Why do we have so much stuff? I get paranoid on these lakes. I always feel like I'm being followed. Just get that sense, you know? It's time to reinvent the wheel! Step one, insert a spike into the ice. Step two, tie a piece of fishing line to that spike. Step three, unwind that line. Come with me, come with me. Step four, tie the line onto something sharp like a screwdriver or a spike. And now we are going to score the circumference of the wheel. Step five, saw the perimeter. Nice. There's two saws. I'm no. not doing all this work myself. You said you were doing step five. Step no, five no. is cutting the no. perimeter. No, no, no. We are doing step five. This is the hard work. Chainsaw would be nice. This is gonna take all day. I just wanted to go fishing. And you're like, no, let's make a wheel. I'm so happy I'm not married to you. There's the chainsaw. It never occurred to me that this was gonna be Dang near impossible. Are you kidding me? What were you thinking? Not what were we thinking? Okay, this is outrageous. We're gonna use the ice auger. Okay, step six. Cut the perimeter with the auger. Okay, but let me see if I can connect them. I don't know if that's gonna destroy this bit. I think that's what we do. Good enough. Like, what are we doing? Hey, another one for your documentary. You can have a little wheel section of that time we tried to drill a wheel. Film the documentary, they want to see it. You guys sure fish a lot. No, we don't. We do stupid stuff like this. Plastic auger survive. This is actually a new lightweight plastic bit. You can see it's flexible. And my biggest concern with it was that uh, when you're connecting holes is usually when you bend your flight because you've got two holes overlapping and there's a lot of torque on there and I've got a lot of bent flights from over the years. So I was concerned about that. It looks like it's survived today. It's not minus 40 out here, but that is more double holes than you will drill in your lifetime probably. We want to get the wheel Spinning. Ooh, spin me right round, baby, right round like a record play. What if I get dizzy? This is not a small piece of ice either. Like, how many ponies that thing got, Aaron? Are we in Louisiana here or what? I just can't see it just like taking off. This is a 50 amp hour, relatively lightweight battery pack from Dakota Lithium. You could power all sorts of stuff with this. We are gonna see how many trophy pike we can power with you it right now. supposed to say what we're fishing. It's a chain pickerel. Moment of truth. Fire her up. Good luck. Good luck, dude. Like it's not even close to moving. You thought this thing would just go? No, you thought it would go. Now we're gonna be like step eight, step nine, step 10, step 12. We need a physics major. This is why Aaron doesn't put up more videos. It takes him nine days to film one 20 minute video. Oh, hi, sorry, I didn't know you were there. Hi Clayton, how's it going? Good, ready to get the show on the road. How about I use the sled to give it a bit of a kickstart? I think we made too big of a wheel. It's not seeming to turn very well. 
Aaron's going to use the sled to hopefully get it going a little bit, a little bit of a jerk start, and hopefully we can keep her going. Spike in the ice here. Just gonna loop the rope around my tailgate. Cause it's all about getting momentum. Once we get this thing moving just a little bit, I think it's gonna be like grease, how nice it moves. You ready? Yep. Well, that didn't work. The spike did not hold back the 900 pound snowmobile. It went zipping by my head. <laughs> I thought that was gonna go right in the back of your head. Which way is it going right now? Forward, should I go in reverse? Don't get hurt. What do you need to do, give it some torque with the chisel maybe? It's like give it a good push. Okay. Uh. Oh. 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 Oh, is there hope? It's moving. Oh my goodness. We're moving. It's moving. It's moving. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> it's working. I feel like we're turning. <laughs> it moves, now what? Now do we actually get a fish for once? <laughs> I can't believe this. It actually works. I'm getting dizzy. Like it feels like we're just humming along. This is unreal. Well, let's catch some fish. Can you bait? There's a gold eye and there's mackerel. I'll take a mackerel, those are native to this lake. Saltwater fish versus the freshwater fish. The saltwater fish are a lot easier to get a hold of because they have them at grocery stores and they're vacuum sealed, which sucks the air bladder out, which means that they sink right away. Whereas you got to fuss with the gold eyes because they got an air bladder in there that's just underneath the lateral line inside the body at the top of the stomach cavity. There we go. It's hanging somewhat horizontal. And of course, leave the bale open so that when the fish takes the line, sets the flag in the air to alert us, it can peel line out until we're able to spin the wheel over and reel the fish in. Right, I am set up. Right now we're in 15. Oh my goodness. Almost 16. Being on a drop off is so awesome. That's so cool. There's no like regrets. Oh, should we be deeper or shallower? I kind of have a big lure, Aaron. What are you using? Bondi. Nice. Like I'm kind of only going for uh, one size. Oh, the length isn't different, but that profile is, yeah, enormously bigger. Good luck to you. Okay, down it goes. Good luck to you. 18 feet right here, that's so cool. You're in a little bit deeper even. Oh my goodness, there's so much bait here. Really? That's good. That can't be bad. Oh boy. What kind of bait would it be? Are there Cisco's in here? You said there's definitely mackerel, right? Can you even see your jerry? Uh, often. Okay, well that's a good signal of yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see mine at the moment. Can you see yours still? Yeah. This is so weird. On! Didn't Come see on. I didn't see it, but Come I'm on. on. You're on? Yeah. Oh, he's on. Small. But it's happening. <laughs> I mean, did you see him there? Oh, you didn't see him on the- No, I was, I was trying to find my jig and all of a sudden it was like, bang. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Right beside this tip up too. Yeah. Oh, there's a fish on me instantly. Right now, fish yeah, all right over there, me. Right there, yeah. yeah. Come oh. on. Yep. Come on. Come on. Right <laughs> beside the tip up. I got one. Oh my goodness. On the wheel, baby. On the wheel. Look at tip up right here. And then our hole is there, but it was back further. As we pass by, we're giving them options and we are on the move. So we could be in 18. What's the deepest? 18 feet? 18 feet's our deepest. I'm going to put them right back in. <laughs> Maybe don't squish him. <laughs> no, don't squish him. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm just gonna let him go right yeah. here. Okay, there we go. There he goes. Epic. We caught a fish on the wheel. It's a lot of work, but if somebody ever sets up on your waypoints and you want to get rid of them, you make a wheel. You'll turn them around, get them off your spot. Hot tip. You know what? Maybe the fish needed us to spin this way. Want to do it again tomorrow? 
just spin the wheel the other way. You know, Aaron, the fish you caught, I feel like it's a bonus. We came out here to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> it was pretty cool once it came together, that's for sure. Thank you very much for watching. Go check out Clayton Schick Outdoors. I catch fish on my channel. Yeah, 10 pound walleyes in every video. That's a guarantee. That's a promise. <laughs> that's not a promise. And shout out to John Hoyer. What walleye trail does he fish? Do you know? NWT, I think. Doesn't he like crush it too? John's been telling me for like two years to do this wheel video and we were gonna do it together in Lake Winnipeg. And then I snuck out and did it for Pike without him. Sorry, John. We can still go to Lake Winnipeg. Don't do it, John. John, don't, don't fall for it. <laughs>